this last year I saw you in Copenhagen and then yeah. you were doing like a solo little world tour. Yeah, I just took a train to Berlin and met up with my friend Patrick Walner out there and just filmed for like two weeks, ten days or so. Yeah. Yeah. And Patrick did meet the stance. Yeah. Which I I didn't even know you were in that and I have to admit I haven't watched it. Oh yeah, you gotta check it out. I wanted to ask you about it. It's you it guys was, just went on this crazy was it his idea? Yeah. Patrick just has this a fascination with Asia and Southeast Asia and, this, and mm. Central Asia especially because it's just a weird part of the world that people don't really talk about and get a lot of exposure and he just wants to film skating in every weird country he can find himself. He's like himself the Kenny to. Reed of fil yeah. skate filmers. Yeah, he and Kenny Reed are like a little team for some of oh, these sick. trips. I mean, Kenny Reed is on that trip. It's really, it's really fascinating. We start in China, we go west into this city called Udomuchi, which is like a Muslim China. And then we took a train into, like, we took like a 36 hour train into Kazakhstan. And then I flew out. Where Borat's from. Where Borat is from. But <laughs> wow. if you mention Borat. Alex Miserov. Are they bombed? Alex Miserov yeah. is from if you, Yeah, if you mention Borat yeah. around any Kazakh, they, oh, they oh, go to live. I can imagine. It's so insulting to really them. Mad. Because we'll, Kazakhstan's we'll, we'll. really nice. You know, yeah. it's like nothing. There weren't any dudes in banana hammocks looking like Borat talking. <laughs> no, not at all. I was just reading a bunch of questions from Facebook from the fans for you and like four different kids asked for a wine recommendation. A wine recommendation? Yeah. Mm. Dude, that's awesome. That's tight. Kids are asking for wine yeah. recommendations? Kids What's asking for wine. Europe? Kids, <laughs> children. Children want wine advice. advice. What are their ages? They're getting sophisticated. <laughs> it's 13 to 18 year olds want to know what kind of wine you'd recommend that's to them. That's amazing so. because kids ask me if I'm mentally retarded. I'm <laughs> reg. I'm not Yeah, mine. there's a couple kids who ask, why are you crazy? Are you on drugs? Yeah, there's are you on drugs? Do you have... You know what? We're going we're gonna, we're gonna, we're to confirm or deny all these rumors, so don't worry. Yeah. Whether or not Jimmy is mentally retarded. You gotta go for some Napa cabs. Napa, Napa cabs. cabs. I grew up <laughs> with a lot of people. Cabernet Sauvignon. For those children well, out there who are looking to purchase some wine. Yeah. We should just get some for wine. The kids. We should get like a nice bottle of wine for the video premiere. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Ask Jimmy to do his James Brockman impression again. You did that last time. Can we oh, get another the James, like, that was funny. It's weird because it's hard to do. I'll think of something. It's easier if he's here because I'm making fun of him. Uh, do the impression of when he talks, not when he doesn't talk. Hey, see me kind of like, uh, let's go to the fucking strip club right now. You're intelligent, obviously. You graduated college, What's and then, uh, and then, but it also <laughs> says that you're making choices like you go to the grocery store rather than the fast food joint and stuff like that. Oh, people are saying that? Yeah. That's, I don't know that's, that's some true. good vibes. <laughs> yeah, like that you buy loaves of bread on tour and make I'll, peanut butter and jelly. I'll just, I'll just. You ju tell us. I'll just say, <laughs> I'll just say, for someone to graduate from UCSD, yeah. which is one of like the most pinnacle schools to go to. It really is. It's a really hard to go school, hard school to get through. Yeah. On top of that, and then pursuing a skateboarding career, that's some like heavy genius multitasking. Nah, it's not that big a deal. Oh. Anyone could do it. And Anyone it's not a big deal for me, and you know? Mom. It's yeah. seriously. Would you go and skate on campus ever? Oh man, this is. Yeah. We've had these talks. I mean, I filmed like my whole video part yeah. on that campus. Yeah, that's That campus been told, is brutal. So. It's brutal with, with kickouts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's You should cool watch the just... Concrete Jungle is like all UCSD. And it's all, it's it's actually the way he made it come out was actually made it look a lot better than when if you were to go there and look at it, you know? Yeah. He kind of gave the easy way out for the rest of us if we ever want to go skate there because you just kind of picture what he did and you're yeah. like, oh, look, that spot looks sick this way. <laughs> like, I want a coffee. <laughs> like, you know, but. And actually, we wanted to revisit another story that we talked about with Jimmy last time. You in China with the water situation at a restaurant, uh, at a restaurant. Yeah. can can you can you can we revisit this well i talk I, as you know i talk a lot so i'll try to make it as quick as possible give us Could the you? cliff all right yeah, so thanks. all right um so pretty much i was in china with uh ian barry tom asta i'm with my buddies i'm in china right now a yeah, full restaurant and it's marble and i was Fish. i was really drunk we dare you to jump in that fountain naked and uh swarm around I just got in there and started swimming and I just did backstrokes and all this stuff. I caused such a mess. There's water everywhere. I'll like, I'm sorry, like you guys can come back whenever you want. And yada yada yada. And that's what like gave me the bliss of feeling like, okay, like you lucked out this time. Yeah. 
That's a good story. We all like that story. How long did I tell it for? It was a 45 it was, minutes. Yeah, it was a I'd short a cliff cool notes version. <laughs> sorry. No, it's good. You guys it's want fine. You're very descriptive. <laughs> you're sorry. a storyteller. <laughs> Sebastian Crofts is Walker. Who are your favorite redhead, redheaded skateboarders? Well, Uyghur's up the there. The Uyghur's the best. Yeah, Silas is up there. Mm -hmm. This is always. This is a question I always feel so bad about because I, I leave a for ginger, I'll leave a ginger brother now. Did you say Brian Brown? Yeah, uh, Uyghur's on there. Oh, Brian Brown yes. definitely is one of my all-time faves. If we're talking about ginger bearded folk, Wes Kramer. Wes is definitely up there as my favorite. Mm -hmm. Jimmy McDonald's the shit. Ooh, he's a good ginger. I'm gonna say I'm gonna Jamie leave it at number Palmer. one, Jimmy Palmer, dude. Because <laughs> he's 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 as ginger as they come. His armpit yeah, hair is legitly like wow. red. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Every hair yeah. is red. Fire crotch. Yeah. He is, he's the real deal. Tyler Davies says, Jimmy, can you explain the story of you sacking it on your first try Friday on the barracks? And were you really coughing up blood? Or was it just to be funny? The world may never know. <laughs> it's all real. It could have been special effects. <laughs> Tell us about your family Christmas card. I oh, I've got one after super that. bad again. My, uh, this guy, you broke the no, seal. No, Jimmy, Jimmy, go for it. Go pee, we're gonna Go talk to you're, Walker. You're gonna again. be MIA for two Just discussions. Turn it off Everyone's here. gonna ask where you went. Have you seen him? The no, photos? No, no we haven't seen him yet. We were so good. I don't know when it started. My mom just always wanted to do goofy Christmas cards. So we've done like, you know, the sh we've all dressed up like shepherds and found sheep <laughs> That's to be around. That's really funny. <laughs> we've done one where I'm skating over my family. Like, I did, we lit up an eight stair. At like uh -huh. 11 o'clock at night in my hometown, and like that's the one I we lit it up about. legitimately. Yeah. Like generator, Tadashi came down, brought the generator. Probably we sashed it for like 20 minutes. Let's wow. say that. Alberto Padilla <laughs> says to Jimmy, Jimmy, what's your go-to dance move? Um, do you have a signature dance move? Favorite, you don't have to explain like, it. Like you can you walk us through just... it, like the Macarena or something. Uh, okay, I don't Give even know good. if it's a good dance move though. It's gonna be great. Oh, it's good. I'm not really saying it's my favorite. I'm saying like if I'm under the influence of alcohol and we're at a good club. Yeah. Or not a club. I've never Bar. really been in a club. Pretend we're there. You know those snakes that are in the desert? Yeah. And they kind of go like Side that. Sidewinders. Exactly. They're just all. And you just scare people. <laughs> Please tell me you can and the more girls shoot. you scare, the more numbers you most likely may get. My All right, so if your camera is the hot girl, there's a bunch of girls like dancing and all these dudes, and then I just like I'd see, I don't know, I just jump in the circle and I'd just be like, who is? You guys don't know me, but I'm comfortable. I just want to hang out. And then all of a sudden you just come back and you just go, and they're just all. We can't make, we can't hate on this dude. We can make hate on him all he wants, but he, in a way he's hating on himself. So <laughs> if he wants to hate on his back, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> all right. You start doing all this stuff, you know, you just all like, and then all of a sudden you look at the girl that you think is really cute and you go, and then you just start going crazy. You just get bow-legged. You start twisting, you're bow-legged, you're formed. Then you go, and then you're like, okay, how's the song going? Let's say it's Eminem. So you're just all, mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden it just goes, you do the grapevine. There's all sorts of moves. And then you just, <laughs> you just connect towards that. Too. You pull out the fake moonwalk, but you go back, and then you're just all. <laughs> Can you streak at the premiere? <laughs> you should. Yeah. Jimmy, Dude, who's going to say anything? I'm sorry, like. The only thing that doesn't make sense is the wine continues down the stem. That doesn't happen.